So, you know, I, I do yoga for a lot of reasons. Number one, um, helps calm my mind. It's a mindfulness practice. It's really important for me. You know, I, I try to meditate as much as I can, um, but it's difficult for me. You know, I'm one of these frenetic guys who wants to run around and, and do cardio and lift weights and stuff. And so meditation is diffi uh, difficult. This is sort of a moving meditation. Yoga, so you have the mindfulness aspect, obviously. Um, the flexibility part of it is, is pretty obvious as well. But there's balance and strength, you know, and, uh, and you don't get a whole lot of that with everything else. So um, that's why I love me, me yoga. Yes. <laughs> All right, time to get a little bit more serious, everybody. So uh, hopefully you're not just sitting at the coffee table, hanging out, watching us with your feet up. You're actually standing on your mat with your bare feet. This would be really boring if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. Really, just watch Tony just go through his yoga practice. So, I want you all to stand with your feet uh, parallel. You know what I mean? You can even be a little pigeon toed if you want. So, uh, you know, this is an Agoscu thing. A lot of you guys are familiar with Agoscu if you've got one of my programs. So, the outside of the feet are parallel. All right, you're standing super tall, pelvis forward, head up. All right, you can just do the old mountain pose. You can put your hands by your side, or you can have your hands in prayer. And we're just going to count and breathe and close our eyes. All right, everybody, so um, when you hear me talking again, that means we've started. So for right now, just set your intention, you know, just to be, not to judge this process, just to do your best, forget the rest, whatever it is, just to, just to focus on your breath for the duration of this about hour-long uh, yoga practice, everybody. So Sean and I are just going to hang out and take some breaths, and then we'll get going. All right, so here we go. Couple more, everybody. And let that last exhale out. Open your eyes, arms to your side. Roll your head to the right. Oh, there's a crack. That's how you start your morning. Just bring the ear to the shoulder. Try to keep your chin up. Don't turn your chin in toward your chest. So you're just right here. And now you're going to roll that chin to the chest and over to the other side, nice and slowly. <sighs> Always breathing, try to relax the jaw. Make sure the teeth aren't together. You're trying to pull your teeth apart. Mouth now is nice and loose. Now we're going to roll back to the right side. Just let gravity do its thing here, reaching for the floor with the fingertips. Shoulders nice and relaxed and then back to the left. Ay. <sighs> Good, and now extend to the chest for a second, right there. Just hanging out, looking at your feet. Now head straight up. Both arms reach up. And then nice and wide. You can see how wide arm, arms like goal posts. All right, now bring the palms, the forearms together, back and forth a couple times. Open and close at your own pace. Right there, nice everybody. Just open and close. Still breathing. Upper arms parallel to the floor, just like that. Now plug the fingers in, clasp the hands, separate the feet wider than your mat, and then palms to the sky. Nice and tall, good. Now over you go, boys and girls looking up past the fingers. You should feel that all the way down your left side or right side, depending on which one you're working on. And now up nice and tall, pinkies go back, 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 as far as you can. I'm feeling that a lot. And now other side, over you go, big old side stretch. Oh, I'm cracking and popping. Do you hear me cracking and popping? Yes, sir. Good, everybody. And now up again, nice and tall. Bring your hands to prayer. Now, maybe a little bit wider with your feet. Inhale, both those arms up. Good, now this time the arm, right arm slides down that right leg and you're reaching over toward the ceiling and the wall meets as far as we can, palm toward the floor. Always breathing nice and relaxed. And then up again. 
Good. Now, you know, if you need breaks, you got child's pose anytime, everybody just hit the deck. You can just stand here and look at us for a little while. If you feel extremely uncomfortable, if something feels like it's just too much, then I just want you to back off. Sound good? Sound good? Yay. Peace tree. Peace tree. Other side. Inhale. Over you go. <clears throat> this is my extraordinarily tight side. So I have to really breathe, really focus. And then up again. Thumbs behind you. Thumbs pelvis forward. Hands to prayer. All right. Here we go. Inhale up one more. Feet are really wide. Wider than your mat. Now with a big flat back. Eyes on me. Eyes on you. And then hang on down. Oh my gosh. So right here, if you can still hear me, looking at the top of my head, uh, you're going to bend both those knees just a little bit. You don't have to work on straightening the legs. And we're just going to rock the shoulders over the toes. So the fingertips on both hands are on the ground under your shoulders, right? Your feet are still parallel. And you're just kind of rocking back and forth, trying to wake up the lower back, wake up your glutes, wake up your hamstrings here a little bit, right? So just this right here, right now, just back and forth. Now we're going to inhale up, flat back, fingertips still on the ground. See if you can arch the back a little bit. Can you guys all see me? I hope so. If you can see me, that would really stink if you can't. Good, so you're really straight, straighter legs here. And then now you're going to exhale down, bend the knees a little bit, and then see if you can maybe get off your fingertips and get your palms on the ground. If you can't, don't sweat it. All right, now we're going to rock again, back and forth. Just, just super mellow, everybody. Still breathing, and then inhale up to that flat back again. Here you can straighten the legs. You're going to flex the quads, pull the kneecaps up. Feet are still parallel. And then down. This time we're going to bend the right knee. So you might want to separate the feet even more. Little side lunge, just like that. How are you doing, Mama? Everybody knows. <laughs> Should I get you a Kleenex? I'm going to get Sean a Kleenex. Oh, you do? Oh, all right. So we're bending the right knee. The right knee is kind of out over that toe, that middle toe. Big old side stretch. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. You guys can all see me, I hope so. Good, so we're just gonna hang out right here, just for a second, and now we're gonna adjust the feet and go to the other side. You might lose me here on this one, so. There we go, same thing, a little side lunge. As you can see, we're starting out super slow. We're still sore from, we did cardio last night, about an hour. And got on the ski machine, got on the rolling machine, got on the treadmill, and we're both sort of tight from that and ply the night before. So we're back to the other side again here, back to our right. And now we're going to turn into it. It's a little runner's lunge. Yes, indeed. So we're on the ball of the back foot, knee still over the ankle, nice and low here. Always breathing. In and out. If you want, if some of you are familiar with it, you can do an ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath, you sound like Darth Vader in and out. It's, hold on here, it sounds like this. There you go, a little sample of Ujjayi breath. Take that on if you want, okay? That just really heats up the body more, really focuses on getting deeper in the lungs. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so Sean is still at lunch. I'm jumping back in the fray here. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we're going to attempt to straighten both of our legs, right? So we know this stretch, we're going to do this like six times. So here's one. So I've still got that calf issue from uh, when I tore it in Jackson Hole. Good times, and I feel that a lot here. So back down we go. <clears throat> That would be one. We've got five more. So we're going to come all the way back again, trying to straighten both those legs, and then down. That would be two. Come on back, everybody. Here's number three. Both legs are straight. You're on the heel of one foot, ball of the other, and then down. Let's do number four. Here's number four. Yes, and then down. Now I'm going to do a Ted McDonald special. You're going to love this. Come on up now and turn the toes inward. I'm going to turn my toes toward you, that front foot. You're going to feel a big difference, right? We're going to hold that for just a second and then back down. And number six, we're going to turn that foot outward, outward, back to the back of the room. Oh my gosh. And then down. Good. Come back to center for a second. Hang out there. And now this time we're going to hang out before we go to the other side. We're going to try to straighten our legs more as we hang down. Fold our arms and put the forehead on the forearms. And you can rock here a little bit. Now, if this is too much, keep the fingers on the ground, all right? And bend the knees if that's an option for you, all right? So you can always back off, modify. So here, this is just to kind of work those hamstrings some more. Let the <coughs> body do the job. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. 
You can see my legs are quivering. I don't know what that's about. And now side lunge again. And now runner's lunge. All right, all right. So again, knee over the ankle, back leg straight, straight as I can get it anyway. I'm on the ball of that back foot. We're going to do six of those. Uh, that little move where the legs, both legs are straight. So here we go. Here's number one coming up. And then down. Now, some of you won't be able to do this by keeping your, both your hands still on the ground. So if you need to come up here and do it like this with just one hand, that's fine. That's number two. Here comes number three. And then down. Number four. Good work. And down. Now, here's that one. We're going to turn the toes inward toward you. There they go. You're going to have a completely brand new sensation from that. Oh, and hold it and down, and then again, we're going to come back number six, and turn that toes, toes out. Yikes, and then down and back to center, everybody. Good. So, from here, we're going to come up halfway. All right, put your hands on your knees for right now, and really work on trying to arch the back, right? Try and take that lump, that hump out of, this, out of your back. So, I'm really working on trying to flatten this back here. And now I'm going to release the hands off the knees. I'm just going to reach for the walls right there. Good job. Reaching for the walls and then hanging down. Rounding down, rounding down, bending the knees, and then straight legs reaching for the walls, flat back. Engaging the belly and then down. You need a hair thing, huh? And then up again, flat back. And then rounding down. Good work. Nice, nice. Now from here, you can kind of heel toe the feet onto your mat. All right, so your outside of your feet are on the mat. <laughs> Bend the knees and just ragdoll up. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> How are we all doing? How are you doing? Good. Good. All right. So let's start our practice. Not that we hadn't started, but. We're going to get into our vinyasas and all the, all the good stuff right here. So we're already 10, 13, about another 45 minutes, maybe 50. Inhale, both those arms up, reach up. Let's all go to the right with both arms, both arms right, hips left. And then inhale up, thumbs back. Exhale to the left, both arms. This side's very different than the other one. And then both arms up. And now swan dive, arms out. You can bend the knees here if you like. Exhale, hang all the way down. All right, inhale halfway. Now you have all kinds of options here. You can put your hands on your shins. You can reach to the floor. Whatever it is, try to get that, that back of yours as flat as possible. Now you're gonna bend the knees, place the hands on the mat, index fingers parallel, and right here you're in plank, top of the push-up, okay? So, Check to see the wrists are under the shoulders. Eyes are forward. There's a tendency to bring the chin into the chest. Don't do that. And right from here, we're going to scoot into downward dog, everybody. So we're going to pedal the feet. First, we're going to drop the right heel. And then we're going to switch to the left. Oh, that left calf is screaming. Back to the right. Try to keep those arms straight. Back to the left. Back to the right. And now both heels down, left one and right one. Trying to push your nose, your forehead, your chest toward your toes. Arms are straight, nice. Bend the knees, walk the feet into the hands. <clears throat> Inhale halfway up. Can you guys all see me okay? I hope so. You're just looking at the top of my head. Exhale all the way down. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. Bring the hands to prayer. Starting to heat up a little bit. Starting to notice some changes, right? So it's really simple. You don't need a gym. You don't need a yoga studio. You just need the human body, Mother Earth, and Sir Isaac Newton's law of gravity. Inhale both those arms up. No, I'm good. I'm good. Sean is getting something to help for a What's that? Water. Yeah, that's water. That's water, yes. That's not alcohol, that's water. Exhale, hang all the way down. 
Nice, everybody. Inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, place the hands on the floor and set the feet back. All right, so here we go. Chaturanga time. Make sure that the elbows are going back. Going to exhale down and then come on up to your first upward dog. You want to get on top of the feet. You will feel a sensation in your ankles. So the shoulders are back. The inside of the elbows are facing you. Mine are facing you. Uh, yours are facing mine, I mean, so good. We're here, nice and tall. Good. From here, you want to get up on your toes and back to downward dog, everybody. Good work. So, in downward dog, same thing. We're just hanging out, trying to push those heels closer to the ground. Try to get the arms straight. Bend the knees, walk it in. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse the swan dive all the way up. Hands to prayer. As you can see, we're starting very, very slowly. The reason being is we're, our, both of our backs are super tight. Everything's super tight. My left calf is not cooperating, so I'm just doing what I got to do. All right, boys and girls. Oh, it will heat up, though. Trust me. It certainly will. Inhale both those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Inhale, halfway, hands on shins or fingertips on the floor, hands on the ground, step back to plank. Chaturanga, here comes the vinyasa, everybody, upward dog. All right, right here, push up or not, up to you, you, don't, you can skip it, I'm going to do one, downward dog. Good, hold this here for one breath, inhale big, exhale, walk the feet into the hands. Here comes the pattern, inhale halfway. Exhale, hang down. Feel that in the hamstrings, lower back and glutes. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. Mm, hands to prayer. Inhale, both those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Start to move a little bit quicker. Inhale, halfway. Place the hands on the ground, step back to plank. Chaturanga, upward dog, boys and girls, nice and tall. Great, now from here, look to your right. Look at me. Hi. Look to your left. Look center. Get on top of those toes. Do a push up if you like. Downward dog. <clears throat> now, from here, we're just going to intensify things for a little bit. You can stay here or you can take your right arm and reach back toward your left knee, your calf, or your ankle. Two breaths. One. Two, put that hand back where you found it. New side, here we go. Left hand, right ankle, or calf, or Achilles, or whatever. Two breaths, here's one. And two. And back where you found it. Here we go, bend the knees, walk the feet up to the hands. Inhale up halfway. Back is super flat, exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. Hands to prayer. So right here, right now, I want you to do a little assessment. What do you feel? Where do you feel it? Shoulders, back, knees, calves, whatever it is. So I want you to stand here. Charlotte's gonna hang out. I'm gonna check in, say hello to everybody. You can close your eyes on. I'm... God, that's so bright, that's so crazy. There we go, that's a little better. Um, <laughs> how are we doing, boys and girls, we all right? So you're just standing there, you're just hanging out, you're just breathing. It's all good. We're going to kick it up a notch here in just a second. Ready to go? Oh, there's a heart. There's a thumbs up. Lovely. All right. So, for me, right now, it's lower back and my left calf. And a little activity in my right shoulder. So I'm aware of that, right? So I'm not going to try to push through those things. I'm just going to try to do the right thing I, that I need to do and make sure that I'm always breathing and that I'm conscious of these body parts that are not ideal right now, right? So no big deal. How about you, Mrs. Work? You're good? You're good? All right. Inhale, both those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Oh. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. You can step or jump back. I'm going to still step. I'm going to step right now, but if you want to jump, you can. Chaturanga, upward dog. Good. I'm going to do a push-up. You do not have to. Downward dog. Yes, indeed. Here it comes. Float that right heel to the sky. As far as you can, as far as you can. Try to keep that left heel on the ground. Good. 
Bring the shoulders over the wrist, bring the foot up, and stay right there in runner stretch. You all right? We're going to lose you. We might lose Mrs. H. You can run away, you know. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Good. Now, from here, we're going to come on up. Pre-crescent pose, all right? So, knee over that center toe, hands around the hips, nice and tall. Arms are going to go straight out, everybody. So from here, everybody can keep their arms relatively straight. And now you're going to scrape the walls. Scrape, scrape, scrape till you find the ceiling right here. And then you're going to settle, 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 settle for a couple of breaths right here. Isometrics, they're frustrating, but they're very important. It provides patience and mindfulness, and that's a good thing, especially during these very complicated times. Bring the hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Bring that foot back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up if you want. Downward dog. Good. So, left foot floats into the air. High as you can. Nice work. Bring the shoulders over the wrist. Bring the knee into the chest. Place that foot on the ground. Come on up. Same thing. New side. Knees over the ankle. Chest is up. Back leg is straight. On the ball of the back foot. So maybe this is the point where you start thinking a lot. Oh, it's not going the way I want it to go. It's not perfect. Oh, I'm tighter than I thought I was. Judge, judge, judge. Don't be Judge Judy. Just stop doing that. Arms out. You're here. You're with me. You're doing something. Even if it's ugly, it's better than zero, right? So my left calf is really angry, but I'm doing what I can do. Both arms up. Reaching really tall. Settling in. Couple breaths, everybody. If you start to judge it, breathe. Just breathe. That's it. It's that simple. All right. Hands to prayer. Hands down. Foot goes back. Chaturanga. Upward dog, everybody. <clears throat> Shoulders back. As you know, I've said it 100,000 times. Get the turtle head out of that shell. Good. Balls of the feet. Push up or not. Downward dog. Oh, yeah. Now, let's pedal the feet more because you might have more range of motion in those calves. There's the right one. There's the left one, right, left, right, left, both heels. You can step or jump on up if you want. I can jump on that one, inhale halfway, exhale, hang all the way down. So from here, straighten the legs if you can, but don't if you can't, all right? And see if you how close you can get your nose to your knees, whatever that is for you. Maybe you can't. If you still got to grab your ankles, that's fine. All right, so inhale halfway here. Really work on flattening the back. As you can see, I'm trying to really work on flattening it. I don't know if it is. All right. And then exhale down. Reverse that swan dive up. Reach up, thumbs back, hands to prayer. <sighs> Yeah, man. There you go. You and me. And Sean. Hi, Mama! Yeah, everybody's commenting that I call my wife Mama. Yeah. I do. That's what I do. I, how many nicknames do I have for you? A lot. Like 437, I believe. Inhale, both those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, down. You can step or now jump. I'm going to give a little jump. And then go to Chaturanga when you do so, and then all the way up. Otherwise, if you're going to step back, it's plank. Here's a push-up if you want to. Downward dog. Float that right heel into the sky. Shoulders over the wrist. Bring that knee to the right elbow. Yeah, here we go. Leg goes back up. Knee to the nose or forehead. Shoulders over the wrist. Arms as straight as you can get them. Leg goes back up. Good. Now across. Right knee, left elbow. Hanging out right there. Back up. Nice. Bring it all the way through. Now you're going to turn the back foot down. All right. So before we go into warrior one, let's check the bottom half. Looking back, I'm seeing that my foot is on an angle. All right. So your foot shouldn't be this way. It should be turned in a little bit because this left hip 
has got to come forward. You're trying to get your hips parallel, right? And if the foot is, you know, perpendicular to the front of your mat, or parallel, I'm sorry, to the front of your mat, it's not ergonomically possible. So we're just trying to get this right. Hands on the hips. You can take your left hand and you're going to push that left hip forward. You're going to drop it down. All right? Create as much of an angle back there with that foot as you can. Left arm reaches forward. Right arm goes up. Now you're in this kind of isometric lunge, which you should feel. And now both arms go up. But all of this is just temporary, right? This too shall pass. So you can drop a little bit lower here if you want, trying to get those hips square. Plug those fingers into the ground. Take a big inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lift that foot. Put the right foot back with the left one as you should be in plank. Chaturanga, bottom of the push-up, upward dog. So you're on top of your feet. There might be two or three of you who ain't never done yoga before. And you're saying, holy crap, Tony, I'm just trying to get through it by what I'm hearing. I hope, hopefully I'm cueing it okay. All right, so here, back on top of my feet, I'm in that push-up position. I'm going to do one, a push-up. You don't have to, downward dog. Very, very nice, everybody. So we have another leg. Let's use it. Left leg goes up, up into the air. Good. Shoulders over the wrist. Bring that left knee to the left elbow. Ta-da. Foot goes back up. You're in downward dog. Shoulders over the wrist. Bring the knee to the forehead or nose. And then up it goes. Very good. Heating up, warming up, feeling good. Opposite knee, opposite elbow, across. Lovely. Back up it goes. Good. Now swing it through, shoulders over the wrist, place that foot right between the hands. Come on up, turn the back foot down. Same thing. Let's get the lower half right before we start with the upper half. So, knee over that second toe, or actually over the ankle, but Lined up with that second toe, getting that angle back there just right. Hands on the hips, turning that right hip forward. Forward, there we go. Right arm forward, left arm goes up. Add the right arm. Settle and breathe. So, likely that there's some tension in your body right now, just purely based on what you're doing. And so there's the mind will start to jump from limb to limb about what this is. And there's an assessment that is sort of obscuring the purpose of what you're doing. So you want to start to breathe to eliminate that. Because guess what? We're done. And we're hands on the ground. And on the ball of the back foot. And now we're in plank. We're doing chaturanga, upward dog. Good. A push up or not, everybody. Downward dog. Good work. Bend the knees. Walk the feet into the hands. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. And hands to prayer. And hang on. Yay for us! <clears throat> yeah, man. I mean, you know, there's a lot of ways to start your Saturday. This is one of them. This is one of them. This is a very good one, I think. Let's see how many folks we got in here. How many, how many bailed on me? No, man, we're holding strong. $8.99. $8.99. Hold on. Everybody just stand and breathe here in Mountain Post. It's all well. I will be coming back. Take advantage of this. <laughs> yeah, really. Take advantage of this. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing all right. Whoa! Okay. Hi, Michelle. Miriam. Francesca, of course you're here. Of course you're here, Francesca. What a shock that you're, you wouldn't be here. Oh, my God. Kyla, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Angie. Angie, of course. Hi, Angie. Have you climbed any ropes lately? I know how much you love that. Michelle is here. All the, all the Paragon pals are here, man. It's awesome. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. All right. So I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit more. Let's go. Inhale up. Exhale, hang down. Inhale, halfway. We know what we love. Hands on the shins or all the way to the floor. Exhale down. You can step or jump back. Chaturanga, if you're going to jump, upward dog. I'm no Ted McDonald floater, I'll tell you. I don't know how he does it. Good. I'm going to do a push-up. You don't have to. Downward dog. Float that right heel nice and high into the sky. 
Bring it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Hands to prayer. All the way down. We're going to call this the speed round. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog, and add some more heat. Real basic. Push up or not, downward dog. Good. Sira Namaskara A, I believe. Foot goes up. Shoulders over the wrist. Foot on the ground. Warrior one. So as you can see, we're just kind of making our way through this simple vinyasa hands and prayer. Hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Top of a push up. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up if you want to. Downward dog. Let's do it again. Right foot goes up. Swing it all the way through. Back foot down, warrior one. Settle as low as you can. One little short breath. Fill those lungs, hands to prayer. Down we go, foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up if you want to, downward dog. Left foot in the air. Swing it all the way through. Back foot down, warrior one. Hands to prayer. Hands to the ground. That's two. We got one more each side. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up if you like. Downward dog. One more time on the right side. Bring it all the way nice and high that leg. Shoulders over the wrist. Put that foot up there between the hands. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Settle. Settle breathing. Prayer. Hands on the floor. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up if you want to. Downward dog. I'm heating up now. Left leg goes into the sky. Swing it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. <coughs> Warrior one. Hands to prayer. Hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Good, back to plank. Push up if you want to. Downward dog, and just stay there for a second. Now, I'm going to be here in downward dog for a little bit. Just working on making this as good a downward dog as I can. Legs are straight, arms are straight. If you need child's pose, so knees wider than the torso, on top of your feet, big toes touching. Come on down, hang out here. Arms behind you or out in front for a little stretch. Otherwise, Sean and I will be right here in downward dog. So, spreading the fingers, getting the heels closer to the ground, straightening the legs. Mm. Trying to get my noggin closer to the mat. Two more breaths just right here. My left calf is finally awake, which is super nice. Took a while. Good. Bend the knees, walking in. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse that swan dive all the way up. Hands to prayer. So I'm starting to spit a little. Are you sitting, Mama? Mm -hmm. A little bit. You look marvelous. Inhale those arms up. I see hearts, lots of hearts. Exhale, <laughs> hang down. Hang all the way down, everybody. Good job. Good. Inhale halfway up. All right, exhale down. You can step or jump, whatever you want. But of course, if you jump, you want to land chaturanga. You don't want to jump with straight arms. That's not good. All right, push up here before we go to downward dog. Float that right heel into the sky. Bring it all the way through. Warrior one. Now we're going to get into the good stuff. So we got your warrior one right here, right? You stand in warrior one. And now you can just open up into warrior two. Now, I'm going to drop my arms for a second because, you know, this is a learning experience as much as anything else. I want a lot of you who are fairly new to yoga to kind of see how it's broken down. So, I'm in a side lunge, basically, right? Knee over the ankle, kneecap lined up with that second toe. There's a tendency, if your adductors are tight, you're going to see this. You see this angle? It's really bad. So, you want to try to work on opening up that. Now, that back foot is parallel. Right, the back side of that foot is parallel to the back of the mat, right? So here my torso is straight. I'm not leaning toward you. I'm straight. I'm reaching back with the left arm, reaching forward with the right, looking over this hand. So now I'm going to drop down. 
Because the lower you go, the more you feel it, the more it happens, the more stuff that happens. So right here, nice job, Mom. Give me a little doink. Good. Now from here, we're going to do it at a little reverse warrior. So everything tilts back, hand on leg. You don't want to put a lot of pressure there. Good. This knee is still bent, and you're reaching up and looking up into the eye of the elbow. And the best part is straightening the front leg. So now I can extend the stretch because this leg is that is involved. So reaching, 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 over, over. And then now that the stretch is more substantial, I'm gonna bend the knee and keep that stretch. Keep it, back to warrior two. This is yoga 101, boys and girls. Now I'm gonna swing, watch this arm, swing it up. Just that back foot, because I want that foot to be in a different position for warrior one. Good, warrior one, hands to prayer, hands on the ground. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up only if you want to, downward dog. Let's do the other side, same thing. Now the left leg goes up into the air. Good. Bring the knee into the chest, shoulders over the wrists. Place that foot between the hands. Come on up, warrior one. Warrior one. Good, we're here for beat. Now open up warrior two. Let's do the same assessment here. The heel of the left foot, the one that's in front, should line up, straight line, with the center of the right foot. Again, the back side of that foot is parallel to the back mat. And now I drop super deep. Make sure the knee stays over the ankle. So as you drop, sometimes your knee moves forward over your toes. So push that back foot back. Right arm goes back, reaching back. Left arm forward, looking at you. Looking at you. You? Looking at me. Me. Look at you. Here we go, enough of warrior two. That was a little bit longer on that side. Warrior one, adjust that back foot. Bring that hip around, hands to prayer. Hands to the floor, foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Again, push up or not here, I'll do one. Downward dog. Float that right heel into the sky. Swing it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Warrior two. Did I do the reverse warrior on that side? No. I didn't do it. All right, we missed out on that one. Hopefully we'll pick it up somewhere else. All right, so now we're in warrior two. Not a problem, straighten the front leg. Reach out, reach out. Here comes right angle pose. Reach out, reach out. Place that hand anywhere on your leg or down toward the ground, but make sure that your chest is open to whatever wall you're facing, all right? So I'm only gonna go that far down. I'm gonna reach up and look up to that hand. Just like that. Really simple, really basic. If you start reaching, 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 and you notice that your chest and shoulder are here, well, that's no good, right? So you want to make sure the chest is open. Good. Inhale up. I forgot a reverse warrior. Bend that front knee. We're in warrior two. Swing both those arms up, warrior one. Hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Bring that foot back. Chaturanga upward doggy. Mm. I'll do my push up. Downward dog. New side, left side goes up nice and high. And swing it all the way through, shoulders over the wrist. Nice job. Warrior one first. Still breathing, still staying relaxed. Open up to warrior two. Making sure everything's just right. Straighten that front leg. And reaching, I'm reaching, I'm reaching, you're reaching. Hand on, right angle pose. You know, here's the beautiful thing about yoga, you know. There's a lack of symmetry on everybody. And when things are done right side, left side, we get to figure out which side is doing pretty well and which side is struggling. And this sort of helps even things out. Come on up. Good. Should we do our reverse warrior here? I think it's time. Because I forgot it. So let's do it right here. Good. Over we go. Nice knee. Over the ankle, don't put too much pressure on that back leg. Reaching, reaching, looking up to the palm. Drop lower and now straighten the leg. Tony almost fell over. Reaching more. 
right? So I'm extending that stretch in my lat, in my arm, and now I'm gonna bend the knee. And back to warrior two. And swing it up, adjust the feet. Warrior one. Hands to prayer. Hands on the ground. Foot goes back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. I'll do my push up. Downward dog. Good work. Nicely done, everybody. So we're hanging out here. A couple breaths. Boy, I felt a lot. How do you feel better about me now as opposed to how you felt before? Putting up a little? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good, everybody. Bend the knees, walk them or jump them up to the hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hang all the way down. And now, ragdoll it up nice and slow. Knees are bent. Eyes on the floor. Chin is coming off the chest. Adjust your shirt. Bring your hands to prayer. Take a deep breath. Foot our time. <coughs> 10.43. So we're going to do one more slightly intense vinyasa. All right. With some other goodies attached. And then we'll get into some more flexibility stuff. Maybe a little bit of balance stuff. That'll be fun with my vestibular issues. But what the hell, man. We're here to not judge it. Just try to do it. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, hang all the way down. Reverse that swan dive. Good, flat back, bend the knees, hands on the ground. Jump or step back. Upward dog. Push up if you want to, downward dog. All right, boys and girls. So here we go, this is gonna be a little funky. So we're down dog. Now we're gonna come on up into plank. Raise the right arm toward me. Try to keep your hips square, that's hard. Put the hand down. Raise the left arm. Try to keep those hips square. Hands down, downward dog for a second. All right, just a second. Come back to plank. Raise the right leg. While raising the right leg, you're gonna do one push-up. There's your push-up and up. Put that foot down. Raise the other leg. With the other leg raised, do a push-up. And then put that foot down, back to downward dog. If you need child's pose, do it. Because the next one's going to be funkier, so get your mind right, or just do what you can. Back to plank. Raise the left leg and the right arm. <laughs> Hand down, leg down. Down dog, back to plank, raise the right leg, left arm, I need help, hand down, leg down, down dog, float the right heel in the sky, bring it all the way through, keep the back foot, back ball of the foot on the ground, crescent pose. Hands to prayer, straighten the front leg. Both legs are straight. Crescent pose. Working on balance here a little bit. Prayer, straighten the front leg. No, 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 no. Crescent pose. And then prayer, straighten the front leg. Very nice, crescent pose. Nice. Step the left foot forward. Chair pose. So knees back, eyes up, hands up. Now step the right foot back. Da da da. Hands in prayer. Straight the front leg. Leg arms go up. And align hands in prayer. And then arms up, straighten that front leg. A little thumb different. There I go, vestibular man. And now bend the knee, hands in prayer. One more time, up you go, both legs are straight, arms are up. While arms are up, bend the knee, step the foot forward, chair 
pose. Let me hop back a little bit. Good. Hands in prayer. Reach on down. Left uh, elbow outside of right knee. Hands in prayer. Right elbow to the sky. Look up into the sky. Shauna's going to do the advanced version. Going to drop that, that arm to her stay there. Yeah, girlfriend. Just a breath or two. And then come on up. Go back to chair for a second. The quads might be screaming. Hands in prayer, right elbow, left thigh, left elbow up. You can do the hand drop too if you want. You don't have to. I'll stick to the basics. Another breath. And then back up in the chair. Exhale, hang down. Oh, yes. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, bend the knees, jump or step back. <clears throat> Upward dog. I'm sweating now. Push up. Downward dog. Float that right heel in the sky. Good. Step it all the way through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reach out, reach out, reach out. Start with the forearm on the thigh. Reach this arm up and now overhead. Now you can stay here or you can drop this right hand down to the ground. All right, you can palm the ground. You want to keep your chest open and you're reaching up. And then strong leg, come back up to warrior two. Add that reverse warrior. <clears throat> Come back, warrior two. Straighten the leg. Here comes that half moon. Bend the knee. Fingers on the ground. Half moon pose. So, if this is new to you, do not freak out. Just look up at the screen. Try to make, make out what we're doing. Right hand, left foot, left arm up. And I'm gonna try to find the ceiling of my eyes for just a beat. Dorsiflex that back foot. One more breath. Now from here, we're going to try to float back to warrior two. Bend that knee, find the floor, and then so much for floating. Lack of floating. Warrior two. Warrior one. Vinyasa, other side. Foot goes back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Feeling good. Here's my push-up. Downward dog. Let's float that left heel into the sky. Swing it all the way through. Warrior one. <clears throat> Warrior two. I feel like I'm forgetting on six things. <laughs> Whatever. Warrior two. What was next? Reverse warrior. Was it reverse warrior? Let's do it. Reverse warrior. <clears throat> Why not straighten that leg? Bend that leg. Warrior two, straighten the front leg. This feels close. Reach out. Right angle pose. I don't think I did this last time, but it's all good. No judging. I'm judging me, but back on up. All right, now from here, you're gonna bend the knee. Here comes that half moon pose, bend the knee. Fingers on the ground, left foot rises up, this arm goes up, almost lost it. Eyes to the ceiling, trying to straighten both legs, not always possible. For those of you who have a yoga block, good for you. One more breath here. Charlie Horse and my wife, good, up, up, up. Floating to warrior two, more of a float on that one. Warrior one, hands to prayer, hands to the floor, and then foot goes back. Push up, upward dog, and then another push up. Why not the upward dog? So here we are, and downward dog. And now we're going to go to plank for a second. Right arm down, left arm down, forearm plank. So 30 seconds, everybody. 
If you need to come out, just put your hands on the ground. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Tuck that pelvis. Nineteen. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Time for dolphins. So walk those hands in. I'm sorry, feet. Get the feet and the hands mixed up. So push back as much as you can. Keep those arms parallel. Five, four, three, two. Knees on the ground. Toes together. Separate the knees. Child's pose. Hmm. Arms behind, your arms up in front. It's all good. I'll do both. One more breath here. Hmm. Come on up. Hands on the ground. Knees on the ground. Wrists should be under the shoulders. Knees should be under the hips. All right. So from here. You're just going to raise the right arm up like you're going to shake my hand. Left leg goes back. So the left leg is parallel to the ground. You're not going for height. Dorsiflexing that foot. Right? And then for the leg, fun, fun. Right arm goes out. Left leg goes out. I'll be here for just a second or two. You might feel that in your hip. Trying to keep the leg straight. Dorsiflexing that foot. Trying to keep that leg as high as you can. One more breath. Leg back. Arm back, reaching, hand down, leg down. Let's see a little dog tilt. A little Holly, Halloween cat, Hollywood cat, not the same thing. Back to neutral spine. Here we go, new leg, new arm. Arm out, leg out. I hope I don't kick you, mama. <laughs> Left arm out, let's see, and then foot out. So for us, it's right foot out, left arm out for a tad. Best as I can do. One more breath. And then leg back, arm back, hand down, knee down. Nice little tilt in the spine, looking up. And then round it out. Good work, boys and girls. Nice. Now come on up, feet together, and then with your heels kind of underneath your hips, turn your toes way out, and maybe even want to move your heels further up, and squat down. So you're here, you've got your hands in prayer. For a lot of you, you're going to be up on your toes because your ankles maybe aren't as flexible as you'd like them to be, but that's fine. We're just going to hold this for a second. You want to avoid being here. You want to be fairly tall. Good, just another breath or two here. This is just a way of doing sort of a squatting frog, work on those hips. Yeah, everybody. Now hands on the ground, adjust the feet so they're now parallel, right? Maybe about hip distance, shoulder distance apart. So yeah, so the distance between your heels and your big toes are the same, and you're gonna squat down again. Right there like that. Mm, nice, just hanging out. Nothing to it. I think it's time for abs. You guys ready for core stuff? I think you are. So from here, you're just gonna scoot back. So you're weighted on your butt. All right. Chest is up, your feet are off the ground, adjusting my booty. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna straighten my legs, raise them as high as I can, and bring my arms out to the side. And we're gonna do this 10 times slowly. All right, here's our first move. There's one. You grab the shins. So here, when you're grabbing the shins, you're working on your height of your chest, right? Working on that balance. Two, and in. Sean can do these all day long. Three, pull that belly button in. Cool. If you need to skip this one, skip it if you've got some pain. Four, and in. Five, and in. Six, and in. 
hip flexor. Seven, we're heading home, almost there. And in, eight, and in. Number nine, and in. I got adjustment problems. And 10, we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, roll on your back. Oh. All right, boys and girls, so give me a couple of rolls here. Tuck your chin into the chest. All right, just be careful here. You don't wanna whack your head. If you're nice and round, it should actually feel pretty good. Great, so you know how much we love Scotty Fight for Scissors, so here they are. You got two versions. You can sit on your wrists, right? That version here, legs as straight as you can get them, or more engaged, chin to the chest, arms are reaching. Ten of these. Are we ready? One. Get a little angle, so it's, there we go. Two. Three. Smiling and breathing. Four. <laughs> Five. So you know how many there is, you kind of get your mind right about it. You know you're halfway. Six. Now you know you're more than halfway. Seven. Eight. We're going to hold nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then we're going to hold nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and then knees into the chest. Uh, open them super wide, everybody, super wide. Here we go, palms 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, reaching, seven, high as you can, eight, nine, halfway, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold this one up, 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 up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Higher six, higher five, four, three, two. Knees in the chest. Ah, so here now you bring your thumbs together. You're gonna to sit on your wrists, everybody. Palms are flat on the ground. Legs are just off the ground. Chin to the chest. Open. Close, up, down, open, close, up, down, up, down, open, <laughs> close. But wait, there's more. Open. You are a riot. <laughs> Close. And up. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and bring it down. Let's make those parallel circles, everybody. Let's work on those hips. Yeah, now we're into the flexibility part here. Our time is, can you see that time? 11.01. 11.01. All right, we're going to go over, but... This is important too. So just make those circles nice and big, nice and round, nice and slow. All right, so the knees come in, you pull them apart, elbows are bent. As the arms straighten, the knees are further away from your upper body. And now we go the other way. Yeah, other way, nice and slow. We're into the flexibility, mobility part of this extravaganza. Good, now place your hands on the ground. Feet, sorry, hands, feet, I get confused. So we're gonna do a little bridge here. All right, first one nice and mellow. Tuck the pelvis, so the lower part of your spine comes off the mat first, and then you can feel it peeling off the mat. Higher, 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 you can roll up on those shoulders. Hands and arms are still on the ground, I'm trying to go for a maximum height here, right? Good, so with this height, just straighten the right leg so that quads are still the same height. So there's a little bit more intensity here because one leg's doing all the work and then that foot goes down. Keep that height here and then squeeze the booty together. That'll help. Now the left leg, pointing that toe. 
And now that leg goes down. Get some more height here, really get higher, 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 higher. So even your rib cage is almost as high as your pelvis. And now we'll roll it down from upper spine to the middle part, thoracic spine, down to the lower spine. Good, we're gonna do it again, but this time I'm just gonna clasp, go for higher. Sean, are you gonna do a back bend or no today? No back bend for Mrs. H, right? So you can do the helmet if you want to. Can you even see us? I have no idea, I hope so. All right, so you're gonna roll that pelvis up just as slow, lower spine, mid, thoracic, upper, clasp underneath. Right, bring those palms together, really roll up with the shoulders and get as much height as you can, everybody. So feet should be under the knees, everything should be about hip distance apart, so be careful that your feet are not together or too far apart, right? So more height, more height, more height, 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 and release the hands. And again, slowly, slowly, don't just crash to the mat. Slowly roll it down. Nice. And now pull the knees in. And we're going to do a couple more rollers. And then we're going to stop up here. Good. And now we're up nice and tall. A little Badakunasana, right? So the feet are together, the knees are out. You have multiple versions. You can do them with your feet way out. You can do them with your feet right next to your bod. It's all good. All right, so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my, my hands on my feet, all right? And I'm going to use my feet as a means to try to bend my waist. There's a tendency to round down here. So you might not get very far. If the goal is to kind of go down with a flat back, you might get beep, that far, all right? So from here, I'm just going to bend. I'm going to bend. At the waist, I'm imagining that my back is flat. I don't know if it is, but I'm trying. So I'm just hinging right here at my waist. I'm actually using my elbows to push my knees down. Good. So you're trying to push your chest out as opposed to your nose down to your toes. All right, so nose out, chest out, 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 out for just a little bit. And then we're going to round down in five, four, three, two. And from here, you can round down hands on the ground and give me the spider fingers. Reaching, reaching, reaching. And if you've got a carpet, that's nice. You can just dig those fingernails into the carpet. I don't have that option. I've got no fingernails, no carpet. So wherever you land right now, right here, all of us, okay, we're going to try to get another three inches from here. So breathe. There's one more inch. There's an exhale. One more inch. There's two out of my three inches. And now third and final inch. Exhale. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Now that's going to prep us for straightening the right leg. Left foot's on the inner thigh, right? So right leg is straight. You're going to take the left hand and place it outside, above the knee, outside of the thigh. Right hand's behind me. Gonna sit really tall and use this hand for leverage. Take a big old breath. I'm gonna exhale and turn my body as far as it will go. I'm gonna stop whatever I stop after that exhale. Now, another inhale here. More leverage with the hand and see if I can get further back so I can see directly behind me. Hold it, hold it. Now you're gonna use the right hand and you're gonna take that right hand and you're gonna use it to push yourself forward as the left hand makes its way, left hand makes its way down the right leg. Now, some of you might get as far as your Achilles or calf, and hello, Tony, I'm done, bro. But if you can get down to the ankle bone or the outside of the foot, well, that's super califragilistic, all right? So now the right hand really isn't doing anything anymore, so I'm going to release it. I'm going to cross the right wrist over the left. Now, I'm going to bend my knee here a little bit, right, so I have a good grip. But now I'm going to try to relax as I straighten that leg. And then I fold forward, forward, not down, forward, pulling the elbows apart. And this is going to be a 10 count, and you're going to breathe and smile, and you're going to know it's good for you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now, when you're at the very furthest point, I'm going to hold that for 5, 4, 3, 2, and gently come up. Because some of you might have gone further than you ever have since maybe 1984. All right, so left leg gets to do that now. Right foot on the inside of that left thigh, right hand outside of the left thigh, left hand behind me, so left hand behind my 
left buttocks, super tall. I got shot in the buttocks. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I'm inhaling first, exhaling, pushing, pushing, using that leverage. I got about maybe 72% there. Here comes another inhale. Going for the full 100 and let it go. Oh my gosh. And now release. You're going to use that left hand to push yourself forward. Here comes that right hand slipping down the left leg. Maybe it's the calf, Achilles, ankle bone. But no, I've got the outside of my, sh my foot. So the left hand ain't doing nothing no more. So we're going to cross it over. Right, I'm going to bend this knee first so I get some good, some good grip of my foot and then slowly straighten it. Here comes that 10 count. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five count hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, that's so good, man. What if we did this every day? Did it. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna do yoga because that's what I do. I breathe, I eat breakfast, I love my family, I think I think of other people. What can I do for them? Who can I call? Oh, I'm gonna do yoga too, because it's all part of the same good energy. So on our backs, almost done, boys and girls. Pull those knees in and then apart. Hopefully I do not have a hole in my shorts. I'm gonna turn just in case. <laughs> wide, wide, wide right now. I'm gonna straighten the left leg onto the ground. Both feet are dorsiflex, so toes to the sky. Pulling that knee in and then wider than my torso. So I'm actually pulling the knee down toward my shoulder or armpit. Now, left hand, again, outside the right thigh. Right arm goes out. Oh, here's my wife's leverage. And then over you go. Looking at the right hand, and we're going to be here for a bit because I feel this in my chest, I feel it in my waist, I feel it in my back, I feel it in my shoulder, I feel it in my arm, I feel it in my skull, I feel it in my lips, I feel it in my eyebrows. Oh, so Shauna's got lower back stuff, so she's got to go super mellow here because for some people, this is restorative and helpful, and for others, it can actually create problems. So for me, it takes me a bit to get there, but now I'm there, sort of almost there. Two more breaths, everybody. Big inhale, everyone, here we go, inhale. Hold that inhale. Now exhale and try to relax a little bit into that stretch. One more, just like that. Here we go, big inhale. Hold it, and then let it go. And release. Holy gosh. Mm. All right. Right foot goes out, left knee in. A lot of people want to bolt during this part. They figure the yoga's over, the workout part's over, they want to rush into their life. I mean, I don't know where everybody's going because there's no really any place to go right now. So let's take advantage of every single second of this thing. Left arm goes out, right? It's just you and me hanging out. Now this is this side is so tight. I make the tin man look like the tin man's grandfather. That's what I look look like here. Let's look at this arm. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to breathe. I'm going to show you what breathing during a stretch will do. See where my arm is? I am not faking this. <laughs> I'm not faking this. This knee's down. I'm going to try to breathe this arm to the ground. I'll see everybody at midnight or hopefully sooner. <sighs> Step on me. I'm serious. 
you got a partner, get his little help from your friends. Put your one hand on his shoulder and the other one on my leg. Hmm? Shoulder, leg. Hand? Yeah, hand or foot. I don't care. Be aggressive. That's perfect. That's so perfect. Oh my God. Ted McDonald, you don't have a job anymore. Big inhale. Let it go. Push, 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 push. Oh my God. One more. Big inhale. Push on that leg. Oh. I love you so much. That's perfect. Thank you, honey, bud. You okay? <laughs> All right, kids, it is time for Shavasana. I hope there's more than three of you still in here. So, on our backs, legs parallel with one another, arms by your side, palms up, let's just breathe. Whatever you thought of that entire experience, whether it be good or bad, try to erase it. It didn't happen. Water under the bridge, the past is history, the future is a mystery. All you and I have, you and I and Shauna has now. So for about a minute, Lie on your back, do nothing, listen to the sound of your breath coming in, and going out, nothing else. Ready, go. <laughs> Three stooges the other day, back to back to back. Oh my god. Couple more breaths, everybody. Big inhale here. Join me in this big, massive inhale. We're going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Big. Fill up your lungs, fill up your belly. It's that bottom part of your lungs that's really, really important to keep that oxygenated, keep it safe, keep it strong, keep it durable. So raise the belly up as you hold this breath. that again. Even bigger this time. More expansion in the chest, in the belly. Don't be afraid. Fill her up. side unless of course you've got a hip or shoulder injury over there if you do then roll to the left but otherwise to the right pull the knees in hang out in that fetal position just a second just head on the ground nice and chilled out post yoga mellow and when you're ready come up to a seated position let it go